Exactly. You started without me. I have. Don't worry, there is plenty more to come. No, I was going to say thank you. <laughs> but look, what we have here is quite a common problem. I mean, it's an older home. Yep. How do you modernise it? Well, it's neat as a pin. It's structurally sound, so I think all we need to do is cosmetic changes. OK, so where do I start? Well, there's concrete there, if you like. Wow, what a gentleman. <laughs> So for this front yard makeover, we're targeting a few key features that will make all the difference to the home's curb appeal. Copacabana. What are you doing? <laughs> Pulled up all that turf. I have. Well, I don't know if you could call it turf. Yeah, but it did look green, so there'll be a lot of people watching it going, why? Wow, had beautiful green, it's green front but yard. have a look. Like, weeds, weeds. You could probably bring it back, but you're looking at a couple of years' work and a lot of chemicals. So I reckon it's better just to rip it all up and start afresh. I really want to do something with the pebble creek. Oh, you don't want to keep that? <laughs> Go over it, maybe. <laughs> New path, yep. uh, planting, and then we've got to do something with this fence as well. Because we've got the brick, we're working with it. Yes. We're not going to try and work against it, which is also a lot of people try to modernise their places too much mm -hmm. when they're on. Mm -hmm. So we're actually going to go a wayward grey for nice. all of the fences, and that'll yep. sort of disappear into the background for all make your boundaries. Make the green look really nice in front of it. We're going to make it look lazy. super, super smart with Bossold on all of the okay. trims. And then we're going to use Vivid White to freshen up all of the whites and make that really sing. Perfect. And then yeah. thinking something really bold for the door, because that is something okay. you can do. Do you like that? <laughs> I like bold, but maybe let's try a few samples and see. Uh, you need a little this when you come into our house. Do you want this? No! <laughs> okay. The quickest and easiest way to transform your place, a new lick of paint. The old concrete path that was here was completely shot and it had become a bit of a trip hazard. So we've ripped it up and I'm replacing it with a combination of bricks on edge and then crushed granite. I could have used a brick that matched with the house, but it wouldn't have matched perfectly. So instead, I've taken inspiration from Joe's new paint job and I'm going for something darker. thinking you were just trying to get closer to admire the new paint on the fence, but you're actually taking it next level, Sean. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, make a nice cost-effective way to, to jazz up your fence. So we're going to add a few posts to the existing structure, Yep. throw a few rails through, and then make a nice little picket fence. I mean, obviously, when you look at that, you kind of go, why then didn't you start from scratch and just knock down the whole thing? It's always better to use what you have. Yeah. Once we start pulling everything out and starting again, costs add up, time yeah. adds up. Beautiful. We'll put it to work. Here, let me hold it. Any front garden needs an impressive front door, and this entry just isn't doing it for me at the moment. So me and Greg are sticking a deck over the top. It's really simple. We're just going to frame it out. We're going to square it up and put a seat or a step all the way around. Such a simple idea, just a little packer so you can get the height right the whole way along. Yeah. I noticed that you actually stepped down your rails. Yeah, following the contour of the land, uh, the original fence was the same. That first fence was really light, wasn't it? Yeah, this way you can have the kids out the front, dogs, yeah. keeps everyone in and out. Brilliant. Just remember, Joe, always got to use some glue to make sure that they stay secure. Sean makes this look very, very easy and very quick, but it's because he's actually already marked out all the points where his picket's going to go and he's cut it to size and you're using a nail gun. That's probably the biggest tip of all. Look, it's cheap to hire if you don't want to buy one. Very easy to use. How much would you say if you're doing a fence like this, if you're actually, you know, screwing, screwing it on as opposed to nailing it? Oh, you'd be spending a couple hundred dollars in just fixings alone yeah. and then it cuts it down by probably two thirds. Oh, and and two thirds of the time. Exactly. Got this accelerator nailed. Now I know the truth is on my tail. To so link our New landing and our pathway, we're putting in a bit of a boardwalk. It's basically a big, long step. Now, you can see from the paint below that it was really uneven, so this is just going to make it much more easier to get to the landing. On top of it, I'm going to be using some spotted gun decking. This is going to modernise it, but the nice warm tones tie in with the brick really well. I'm going to shoot this off with a nail gun, and then I'm going to use a joist hanger as well to make sure it's nice and solid. <laughs> Oh, your deck area is looking nice. Charlie Scissorhands. <laughs> I need your expertise. Why was I told to bring in these and not a massive pair of shears? What, to cut this down? Yeah. 
You would if you wanted it to look really twiggy and terrible. Oh. You could do that. <laughs> I could do that. Or... Or you take your time and you just slowly cut back into the bush. But it gives you a nice finish. Is it the clippity clip or the snippity snip? It's the snippity snippity clip. <laughs> Yeah, this is starting to look good. Yeah, and your fence doesn't look bad either. Ah, oh, thank you for noticing it. It has come up an absolute treat. In fact, everything is starting to work. That little path looks yep. great. So you're framing for the decking. I mean, it's, mm -hmm. it's all happening. It is. Crushed granite or deco granite is a really good option for a path. One, because it's very inexpensive, but secondly, because it's super easy to install. All we're going to do and it's made easier by our banding, is level it off, we'll compact it down, and then we'll put another layer back on top, and it's as simple as that. Our boardwalk has come up really nicely, and I love the way the step wraps around. It gives us space for a garden bed, but it formalizes the entrance as well. And as soon as I get these boards down over this landing, it's going to feel much more integrated into the landscape. And that is the deck done, and I'm pretty happy with the way it turned out. Now, you might remember Joe wanted to go for a bold color for the front door. Well, Jace is giving you a bit of an undercoat, and I've taken the liberty of picking one. You might have to come in close here, because it's quite subtle. Ooh. I think she'll like it. What a difference that decking makes. Oh, it looks great, doesn't it? It looks incredible. And now, <clears throat> mm -hmm. anything about my blue door? It's bold. Come on, that looks so hot. Talk to me about plants there. Okay. That's what you're more comfortable this doing. This is where it gets hot. This, okay. is, this is the good stuff. So I do love this being. is just an idea of uh, what we're going to do in this bed by the front and along the fence as well. So some structure in these native coastal rosemary. Yeah. But then how good is that pink panther fox guy? Oh, That's one of so my favourites. Absolutely gorgeous. Kind of brings in a bit of a cottagey feel it to it. It is a bit of a cottage because, you know, we've got a traditional yeah. house. You don't want to do something that's with completely... A with a bold With a bold door. <laughs> you don't want to do something that's too contemporary. You want to have some of that yeah. um, sort of cottage stuff, like the agapanthus yeah. and the and the foxgloves. But then we do want to tie in the colours. So we've got the bronze of this Eliagnus and then also some Carex down there as well. Love it. It's going to look mm. fantastic. So easy gardening. <laughs> Wow, look at all this colour. Hello. Great. Hello. What are you doing here? Well, I've got a box of goodies. You've come to play. I, well, I thought with all this colour, we need to shed some light on the situation. Oh, I like and that idea. I've got a idea. few tech ideas for you. Come and show me. Guess I'll keep planting. Sure. Love the colour of the door. Thank you, see? <laughs> a man with great taste. Who wouldn't love a blue door? Charlie. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Don't you disagree. <laughs> I love this place. Yeah. Older place, but it doesn't mean you can't upgrade it, yeah. retrofitting the latest technology. There were some old floodlights here. I don't even think they worked anymore. Yep. The guys have taken them out and they've fitted this, which is the latest technology. It all goes through an app. But this is the epitome of lights. Oh, that's bright. <laughs> yes, sorry about that. Camera, have a look at this. Oh, wow. So you that can actually be checking out what's there happening in your front yard. Who's coming up? Deliveries? So Ooh. you can see on the screen here, we've got a view of that. Hello. Hello, Charlie. Hello. <laughs> Keep up the good work. Can you talk to people? You can. Ah! <laughs> 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 Wow. <laughs> so, you can actually also speak through this speaker here if you want to talk to people at the front door. Either leave the parcel at the door or get off my property. So can you actually be accessing that even if you're not at home? Absolutely. You can use the app here to see exactly what's happening. Wow. And you can speak to people remotely because it all goes through the Wi-Fi. Oh, that is absolutely brilliant. Really helpful, isn't it? Now, You feel accessing... free to turn the lights off if you Oh, want. yeah, OK. <laughs> Stand by. There we go. And... Uh, thank you. Now. This is a modern day lock. Okay. You can still use a key if you want to go old school. But you can also access the house through an app yeah. by simply pressing 
lock or unlock. Yeah. It has fingerprint access as well. But what's really cool is this screen, you have a code, but it randomises the number. So every time you push those buttons, it'll be a different combination. And so you can reset that for a different code each time? Exactly. So if you're Airbnb your property, for example, you don't want to have to come and visit every time. Yeah. You can set a new code for the new customers and then next week do it again. Absolutely brilliant. Let's go fingerprint technology. Look at that. Pretty cool, isn't it? Let's step into the future, James. After you. Or is it back from the future, isn't it? We're in an old place. <laughs> Side gardens, I'm going for a slightly different look. I want something a bit more structured and formal, and I'm doing it with this native called the water gun. Now, this variety is called Luscious, and I absolutely love it. We've got this dark fence, lovely white trunk, which contrasts, but then the stems are black as well, and you've got this glossy green leaf, so it gives you a real designer look. It's a fantastic alternative for a silver birch if you're in a warm climate as well. Now, we could let these just get loose to give us a bit of screening, but I imagine they could be pleached as well, which shows off that lovely stem and doesn't hide the fence. In front of it, a bit more structure to tie into the rest of the garden with these clipped wastringers. Hey, you're not getting out of here that quickly. Let's say playing in the dirt again. <laughs> yeah, James, come on. You're dressed very front door at the moment. Can <laughs> yeah. you do some work? But Good it's such a nice front, front door, door, isn't it? Yes, it is. Uh, you liar. <laughs> Choose your Thank weapon. Thank you. Never gonna stamp again. <laughs> so, Charlie, you're like a sommelier of turf, really. I'm a smelly air of no, turf. That's no, the no. compost. <laughs> the turf underlay. Yeah. Actually, for anyone that doesn't know, why is it so important to put turf underlay down? It, well, you've got to have the right soil. Like any plants, they need the right soil. Here, yeah. we've got a fair bit of shade from these trees. Yeah. And we want something that can take some wear and tear. So, so Walter's the way to go. Perfect. Whoop. Charlie, anything I need to know? Well, green side up helps. <laughs> <laughs> for sure. But when you roll it out, you want to get the edges, pick them both up like this and let them sit down together so they join up like this, then there's no air gaps and you don't get these big dry lines down. Okay. So like a zipper. Just like a zipper. Charlie? Yes? I've got one of the biggest innovations in gardening since wearing business shirts. <laughs> Are you ready? I'm ready. It's I'm a sunburnt I'm ready. country. We need yeah. water. Okay, let's go. <laughs> let's go. So, James, I'm yet to be impressed by some standard 13mm drip line. <laughs> yeah, but this bit is the business. OK. Hence the business shirt. So, this smart hose device mm -hmm. connects directly to the tap okay. and then through Wi-Fi to your smart device. You can manually water, so you can select the amount of time. And... But what I really like is this smart watering feature. Mm -hmm. So, this scrapes information from weather apps and it has suggested that we water for 15 minutes at 6am and then another 15 minutes at 6.25. So it's suggested all for you. Yeah. What is this voodoo you're putting exactly. into this garden? No. Is that a good idea? That's a great idea. That is a fantastic idea. Then lastly, my favourite bit, you can program different features, but tap to edit. Tap uh, to edit. Go on then, put it on. <laughs> it's funny. Sean, I'm so glad that you decided to keep this old gate. Yeah, exactly. Most people try and make the mistake of knocking absolutely yeah. everything down, but it's nice to keep one or two things to try and tie into the old place. Yeah, and we've modernised it so beautifully with this gorgeous country garden. Exactly. This just tops it all off, doesn't it? Yep, nice way to finish. Well, Charlie, what an incredible transformation full of really small, achievable projects that overall have just made the biggest difference. Yeah, can you remember what it looked like when we first got here? Uh, 
and it's completely transformed now and these are all jobs that can be done over a weekend or over a couple of weeks or over a month. Simple things like just using paint to tie in all the different areas and not knocking down an entire fence but actually modernising a little bit. That's a great project. It's a great project and it looks very pretty with foxgloves in front. It does. The foxgloves are gorgeous. By having what is a bit of a formal layout, it goes with the traditional style of the house, but it modernises it as well by yep. bringing in the tones of the house into the planting. Like yep. That path could be done in a weekend. That deck as well, that's an easy weekend job. And of course that amazing door, just a bit of colour, just to add a bit of colour door, and interest. It does, yeah. <laughs> So where's James? He was right in the thick of it. Yeah, I think he's getting a jacket hey, of time. Hey, 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 hey! Oh, oh, we have got this. you covered. He takes Come back Come on in, what boys. Thanks, Sean. Sean, Graham, Charlie. We've got the berries. There we go. Nice Joe, work. You can do the honours. Ooh, yeah. can I get a cake? Everyone want a piece? It's sure. really good. This is gorgeous. Yeah. I do apologise. It doesn't look like there's any plates, so you may have left out a few things out. <laughs> we remembered the cake. <laughs> Seriously, job well done, everyone. It looks fantastic. It really does. Good job, guys. Thank you very much. If you want to watch this again, or if you've missed the show at all, you can do it on the socials. <laughs> I believe that's what the youth call it, isn't it? On the socials? I'm pretty sure they don't have that accent, but anyway. <laughs> 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 <laughs>